Hello everyone, welcome to Accounting 210. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about chapter 10, um, the variance part with you. Um, so I'll just use the screen to talk about that. I don't have my paper with me now. Um, chapter 10 talking about different things, but we focus on variance here. And once you learn chapter 11, you can find out that there are many parts that are the same. Uh, they actually share the same logic. So I'll just go through the basic thing here. Uh, if you still have any question, you practice chapter 11, you will, hopefully you can feel better. Okay, uh, when you do variance, uh, you always put your actual on the left side and then your budget on the right side. Uh, no matter it's master budget as chapter 10 or the standard budget as chapter 11. And then, so, this is the dollar amount, right? We are thinking about your actual sales, your actual cost, your actual operating income, your budgeted sales, budgeted cost, and then budgeted operating income. So those are dollar amount. How do we get dollar amount? It's always something, it's always the quantity times the price, right? It's always, if it's sales revenue, it's unit sold time the selling price. If it's cost, then it will be like sales commission cost. It will be how many units you saw at the time of the commission. If it's the variable cost, like a gas cost, how many miles the car was used, time per gallon, um, dollar amount for each mile. So to get dollar amount, it's always quantity number time the price. Um, and then you can find out your actual will be actual quantity time actual price. Your budgeted will be budgeted quantity time your budget price. But if you just focus on actual and budget directly, you cannot tell the difference because you don't know it's because of the units or because of the price. So we said that that's not correct. You are comparing apple with orange, right? So we said, how about if every time we just change one variable, instead of AA going to BB directly, we said AA, AB, and BB. So from AA to AB, the only thing we hold the units, we hold the first item constant, we just change the price, we just change the price. That will give you flexible budget variance. That will give you flexible budget variance. We created, uh, extra column use our actual units. We call this column as a flexible budget. So it's still your budgeted price, but you use your actual output. So flexible budget is a part of an actual part of a budget. Uh, budgeted price is a budgeted, um, budgeted, master budget is budgeted units times your budgeted price. So from AB to BB, we hold the price the same. We just change the units. So any difference will be from different volume. We call this difference as volume difference. So that's I say, every time you just change one item, either change your units or change your price. And how do we decide is it favorable or unfavorable? General idea, if your actual can increase, so which is your left side, can increase your operating income compared with your budget with your right side, then that will be favorable. So you are doing better than your budget. You are doing better than your benchmark. So you will have favorable results. You will have favorable results. And textbook said zero is also favorable. If you see zero, that's favorable. So that is just for all the variants, for all the variable, Various revenue, um, variable costs. If it's a fixed costs, then your fixed flexible budget will be the same as your master budget. Uh, so for the fixed cost, the variance is zero. Okay, I use this one as an example. I just want to show you briefly. Uh, your accounting lab is a little bit different, but uh, this one actually just let you do favorable or unfavorable, but I also want to show you how do you get all the numbers. Um, so first is sales volume, actual is five, and then we said flexible budget is you use the actual output, so it's also five. And our master will be four. And your left side is more than your right side, so you have one favorable. Okay, 
So how do we get sales revenue? Actual is already told you. It's one or two thousand. And then uh, one or two thousand out of five units. So each one, your selling price will be 20,400. So I rewrote this. So it's obviously your units times the dollar amount. I forgot to put dollar amount, sorry. So it will be five units time twenty thousand four hundred dollar, and then that you got one oh two thousand. And then how do we get our master budget? Our total master budget revenue is eighty six thousand four hundred out of four units. So we got each one as twenty one thousand six hundred. That's our budget selling price. So we break it down, we said units time price, four units time 21,600 gives me 86,400. So flexible budget, now I can do it actually by myself. I use the actual output of five units. I use my budgeted price 21,600. That's how I got the 108,000. Uh, so you double check that's the price, right? That's the number in the flexible budget. So flexible budget is part of your actual, you use the actual units, part of a budget, you use your budgeted price. So similarly for the variable cost, uh, for the actual total is 50,000 out of five units. So each one is 10,000. And the master, bu um, master budget is 41,600 out of four units, so each one is 10,400. And then I just want to double check with the flexible budget is you use your actual output five units times your master budget, the price 10,400, you get $52,000, so which is the same. And last thing is fixed cost. Of uh, for actual is 24,000, and master budget is 228.1,000. We said that for the flexible budget, the fixed cost is the same as your master budget because it's a fixed cost. So you got a zero favorable variance. Okay, uh, so this is just uh, showing you how do you list those different things. It's always actual, it's a flexible budget in the middle and the master budget on the right side. Uh, actual is actual units time, actual price. Master budget is master budget units time, master budget uh, price. And flexible budget is actual units time, your budgeted price. So that is every time you just change one variable, right? So we change from AA to AB, and uh, we just change the price. We change from AB to BB, we just change the units. Okay, uh, just to give you some idea, I do more practice in chapter 11. As I say, if you still have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you.